When you see little droplets crashing over the rocks. When you hear the water slowly eating the stones away. You know, it's been doing so for millions of years. And it will continue to do so long after I've kicked the bucket. Hell, <laughs> it will do so long after we've all kicked all of the buckets there are. Slowly, it carves the earth, carving the priceless landscapes with unseen patience. We, we've, on the other hand, lost all patience. We become burdened by time. Well, not me though. I see value in slowness, in the process. It may take a thousand years to grow a forest, but the earth will still do it and it shall be invaluable. That is how invaluable things are made. And that is how I'm creating one. Swipe my swipe. my whole life energy into it, as did my grandfather. I have here a photograph to show you how it looked like when I started working on this. It looked like this. You see? This was 22 years ago when I started and this is now. A lot of work, a lot of work done. This will be the most invaluable sculpture the world has ever seen. And in it, a few generations work, energy, past, and life will be inscribed. My skin rubs off faster than the layers of wood, of course. That means it's time for the next finger. And by the time I reach the tenth, the first one is healed and ready to go again. I, I also keep this, this dust, little dust, you know? I keep it on the table. And it is mixed with my skin because my skin also comes off the same like the wood, you know? And I keep it so so I see how much I've done, you know? And uh, it's beautiful, it's mixed skin and mixed wood. And if, if you try it, it tastes, it tastes like past, like history. And a little bit sweat, like like sweat, like you eat, you know. But it's uh, it's beautiful, you know. What can I say?
I know I can't last forever, but I am willing to put my life into something that can. Death is the real value.